What's up guys? So this is going to be a quick uh, dynamic yoga fitness workout for you today. So you're going to get uh, stretched, strengthened, mobilized, and it uh, should feel pretty good after this workout. Just be easy, do what you can do, and uh, if you have any questions, post them up down below. So what we're going to start with here, just to get start getting mobile and uh, get some blood pumping a bit, is up dog, down dog. So with these, I'm going to start at a kneeling table here. With your hands slightly in front of your shoulders, tuck your toes under. Now press into a down dog here. So we're pressing the heels and thighs back, pushing back with the arms. Take a deep breath in. We're going to pivot to an up dog. Shoulders down away from the ears, pull back with the arms a bit. Extend the legs nice and straight. Inhale. Back to down dog. So nice and smooth there. Be sure to stay in control. Uh, if it's difficult for you to do these off the floor, you can move to elevated surface um, like a countertop or a coffee table if it's stable. Something like that or some stairs and that will make the movement a little bit easier. Next exercise we have is a supine bridge. So here, you want to pull your heels back to where you can about touch them with your fingertips here. <clears throat> and then we're going to press our spines flat. This is a, a neutral bridge here, so you want a nice solid neutral position. You're going to kind of tuck the hips and pull your rib cage down to help flatten your spine. Work your neck towards the floor. Work equal pressure on the back of your arms and the feet. And then nice and easy, we're going to bring the hips up while pulling your heels towards your butt. Nothing's going to move, really, but you want that pressure. And that's going to drive your knees forward or shins forward. This is going to help to kind of lengthen through the lower back area, give me a little traction. It's also going to activate the butt and hamstrings real nice. Rip cage is pulled down, hips are tucked. So we're trying to kind of scoop the tailbone under a little bit. Not excessively, we're just looking for a neutral. Make sure the arms are engaged. Full body should be engaged here. Nice smooth breaths. Each time you exhale, try to squeeze a little more. And come down nice and easy. When you come down, you should find that your lower back Touch the same time as your hips if you maintain a nice neutral position. So, first two exercises here, uh, we're going to do one minute each, and you're going to do one to three sets depending on your ability there. After that, we're going to move on to push ups. So, for push ups, you can do, uh, if, you, if you can do regular push ups, definitely do those. So, we want to lock in nice and straight. So, push ups. Along, of course, with working the shoulders, the arms, your chest, and all that good stuff. Same as a plank, so you're working the abs, bracing the abs. You want to lock the legs in nice and solid, kind of squeeze your butt. Again, looking to kind of tuck the hips and chin to get nice and neutral. And go down easy, inhale. Press up. Nice and smooth there. If you can't do those, you can do your push ups from the knees or off of an elevated surface like some stairs or a countertop. Everything else applies though. Nice and straight. Nice smooth reps there. From there we're going to move on to a torso lift. So with these <clears throat> we're going to work tailbone down again. Always want to kind of get connected and nice and solid through the midsection, through the spine, just to kind of brace the body. So we're going to work tailbone down and stay long for the legs here. Put your hands on the back of your head. We're going to breathe in. And lift up. Open the elbows at the top. You really want to be sure to stay connected to the legs the whole time. Now, uh, squeezing the butt and working the tailbone down to help stay a little longer through the lower back. It's going to help to bring a little bit more of the arch towards the mid-upper back area. 
which is kind of what we want to work on mobilizing a bit. And you may not be able to go up as high by keeping your legs engaged like that, but that's okay. So just give it some time. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to go a little higher. So you also want to open the elbows as you come up so we can work the upper back muscles. So we're, that way we're working opposing muscle groups here, working the chest, shoulders, and triceps with the push-ups, and then working pretty much the whole backside here with the torso lifts. I'll do a few more. Breathe in, squeeze it up. So there's that. We're going to do one to three sets of 30 seconds on each of those. After that, we're going to hold a boat pose. So with the boat pose here, I like to do them if you can go with straight legs. We're working the hips and thighs a little more here. I like to go hands up overhead, try to work a straight spine. Breathe smooth. If you need to make it a little easier, if you can go hands forward and knees bent a bit. Either way, you want to try and stay nice and straight. And if that starts getting you a little much, you can drop the heels on the floor and just hang out right here. Best you can. Uh, if you really start feeling the lower back and you can't adjust yourself to make it feel better, then um, just do a short amount of time for your sets for today. So we're going to hold that for one minute. And then from there, <clears throat> we're going to bring it up to a wall sit. So you want to go a few feet out from the wall. So when you squat to about parallel with your back against the wall and your hips against the wall, that you have about a 90 degree angle with it at your feet there. So you want to work stomach to the spine, spine to the wall. Interlock your fingers and press your palms up. Breathe deep here. Keep pressing the spine flat. Open the chest up here. Stay nice and tall. Big reach with the arms. So we're also working the upper back muscles a bit here too. Try to think skinny, stomach in. We're going to hold that for a minute. So we're going to do those two exercises back to back for one minute a piece. Um, if you need to take a little time off each round, you can do that. Or if you just got one set in you, that's just fine. Last exercise we're going to do is a supine mountain as a cool down here. So this exercise, it's room here. <clears throat> so from here, uh, we're going to do about a quarter bend in the knee or so. Kind of find wherever you need to go that allows you to flatten your lower back. Uh, with a little effort, it's fine. Flex your feet up, uh, feet knees together or just slightly apart. Tuck the hips, rib cage down, so we're flattening, the, lengthening the spine. Tuck your chin, work your neck towards the floor. If the if it doesn't touch the floor right now, that's okay. Just try. We're gonna bring the hands straight out from the shoulders. Reach nice and long from fingertip to fingertip, and turn the palms over flat. Really pay attention to what's going on here and really make a conscious effort to muscularly spread yourself out across the floor. Each time you exhale, try to lengthen just a little more. You also want a little bit of pressure pulling your heels towards your butt. Again, this is going to help kind of drive the knees or shins forward a bit and it's going to help tug down the hips and help you lengthen through the lower back a little more. Exhale, extend to the crown, tuck your chin, work the base of your neck towards the floor. Exhale, reach out long from fingertip to fingertip there. So that's a great one. It's a really nice one to do uh, at the end of a workout at the end of the day, just to kind of lengthen out, stretch out a bit. Uh, I recommend doing it on a hard floor, relatively hard. That way you can kind of feel, get feedback from the floor. You can check out your ribs, your hips, your shoulder blades, you know. Some people have kind of a floaty shoulder or something. Now you're going to feel that shoulder blade digging into the ground so you can adjust for that. So that's your short dynamic yoga fitness workout today. Should take uh, 
less than 30 minutes to get all that in. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. Please like and share, and I will uh, talk to you guys next time. See you later.